it is a nice place even though it does have its ups and downs on it but like most places it's always good and bad There was a, a group called Call Dads. It was an opportunity for dads to take their kids to a group on a Saturday morning. It was just nice because no one was left out. Everyone interacted with everyone and it's just something different. And it obviously gives the mum a break as well if you take the kids out for a few hours on a Saturday morning. Um, the school, probably the one and only thing that I think is good. I think a good head teacher with good leadership skills, um, it goes down for all of the other teachers. It depends on your social life and your setting really. I mean, we keep ourselves very much to ourselves apart from coming here and doing this, and church. We're involved in the church a little bit. But apart from that, we don't have an awful lot of involvement community-wise. The school, I think, has got a good community spirit. My immediate neighbours, we get along, but we wouldn't go out. But we keep an eye on each other's stuff. So if there was a problem, we would knock and say, oh, this has happened or that's happened. Um, but apart from that, I wouldn't say that I'm in any sort of community with Vange as a whole. When I come over here, where we used to live, we used to sort of know each other. And it used to be like the old days, where you could leave your door open. And if I used to go and make a cup of tea, the kids would say, oh, can I come and play with play with it? And just say, yeah, you should leave the door, it was all right. But nowadays, you sort of can't do that anymore. Everybody's sort of too scared, and everybody like keeps themselves to themselves on that. The only downside, like the doctors, could be a three week wait for an adult, but if your child's ill they'll try and see them the same day, so I suppose it outweighs you being ill if your child can get seen straight away. For other parents that might need more support, they've just closed the Bernardos, I believe, down the bottom again, which supported a lot of parents. Concerns mm. us, because then you've got parents out there that haven't got the support that they need. Both kids love going to the library where you've got the self-serve machine. I think that's a, a great independence thing for children. They look around the books, but they just love the fact then that they can go to the machine and scan their library card and put their books in and walk out with them. And yeah, they love it. I preferred the old band's library when it used to open at nine o'clock and close at five, because by the time Bradley comes home, you haven't sort of got enough time to pick him up and then go 
thought he wants in the library sometimes because it shuts at four now. I don't think that there's any more challenges bringing up children on Vange than it would be to bring them up in, I don't know, Romford or somewhere like that. I think it is literally how you bring your own children up. My biggest concern with changing schools was that my son had been at Langdon Park for four years and we'd been in Vange for two years and he still would attend Langdon Park and I used to walk him there. It's like a two mile walk, but he was happy at Langdon Park and my worst fear was changing schools to benefit me because of it being closer and then him having issues at the school. But I can absolutely say that he's had no issues. He's got so many friends at school now. The teachers love him and it's just been a blessing. It's just worked so well. Is there any way that where they can go and ask the questions for the support that they need? You know, is, is there one point of contact that they can approach at the council or the doctors even if they need extra support? Better bus routes down by home base. There's only one bus every hour and they don't run on weekend either. So the better bus route down the bottom end. where people dump their rubbish, just needs a bit more clearing up, that's all, or, or if people can put it neatly, instead of just like, where there's a bit of bushes, it's just dumping there and make the place look nicer. do feel that there may be a better police presence in the area. When I lived on Notebridge, Notebridge had its own special police officers that just, they just walked around and they'd walk around every day. There'd be someone that would walk around the estate once or twice a day. And I just think if there was a bit more of that around the area, it would just make life a bit easier. things for the children really, especially in the holidays, because it seems to be that in the holidays everything stops and that's when all the children are about all day wanting things to do.
we used to have the play sheds they used to be used to pop up in the summer holidays and things like that that they'd have loads of bats and balls and activities and they'd organize games on a field and that's all it takes I have issues with getting up at work at silly o'clock. I obviously have to do that in the pitch black now because there's no street lights. I get the point of turning them off at night, obviously is a massive money saving exercise, but then it also frustrates me that I walk around and I see the motorway maintenance people changing all the bulb lamp posts to LED lights, but I'm standing there watching someone change a lamp post that I know is not gonna be on at night. And it just seems silly. Maybe a mobile library, only because it is a fair distance again to walk and there's no direct bus route. You'd have to walk up to get a bus or just keep walking. 